Hey, it's James from Active here with JC, our head designer. And we're here to talk a little bit about our journey from the original V52 to today's 2.3 and beyond. For some of you new to our brand, it, it'll be interesting for you to understand how we kind of got here. If many of you know, the V52 was the first unit that we launched under the Active brand about four years ago. That unit itself was a derivative of a private label unit we'd been building here in Canada. Previous to that, most people had been really chasing PSI and the path to improvement for product was really around trying to gain greater efficiency out of the motor. And even we had done a whole bunch of different motors as well, such as induction motor, motors versus universal. We'd even done a digital motor, you know, that would have the ramp up speed and we'd been doing all sorts of things. But I think we as a company felt there was limited improvement available in that path because ultimately what people were doing was limiting the flow to increase the pressure so you could sell at better spec. And so our team took a bit of a different approach and that's where we eventually landed on the five piston pump, which enabled much better flow at still very high pressures. And so the first few units that that pump was used on were a digital motor five piston unit that we no longer make and the V52 for our private label customer here in Canada. They sold very well, especially the V52. So in 2020, when we kind of wanted to start with our own brand and direct to consumer model, we chose the V52A because um, it was kind of an expression of the path that we're going down now, which is you can put a powerful motor and pump into a small package and not have to add all these bells and whistles. Now, the V52 did have a bit of cord storage, right? It, like it had a, a few things. Yeah, it had some cord storage, had some hose hooks, I think. Right. And... But we were still trying to make that into a very small package. And so that package we chose to launch the active brand with because again, it was a proven product, kind of had our philosophy of small but powerful. It obviously had our five piston pump, and even from an e-commerce point of view, the small package would ship more effectively than something with wheels and handles and, and all this stuff. Even that at the time was pretty radical thinking. The, the market was still going towards higher PSI meant a better unit. It was also in the bigger is better. And we kept shrinking things down because that's what we felt was the future. But, you know, a lot of people thought it was, yeah, it crazy. was crazy. I think the first couple of years we had some degree of success with the V52, but most of that was really performance based. So I had made some calls to some of the famous online reviewers and, you know, eventually the story started to be told that our the performance of our unit the really only comparable unit out there was the Kranzla at five times the price that gave us the confidence to then say okay let's go off and design the 2.0 from a technical point of view we re-looked at every component in the 2.0 we have a lot of videos on kind of the genesis of the 2.0 how we developed the pump, how we looked at the motor, how we try to look at every part of it to try to really increase the lifespan of the product. Um, but maybe you can tell us a bit about from a design point of view, how we got to where we did with the 2.0. Yeah, it was just a continued refinement what we had with the V52. And it was, let's take more and more of that away and let's give the customers what they really need. If we're going to go down this path, let's really Let's not compromise. Really zero storage, right? And that, that results in zero bulk yeah. on it. And we could, we could shrink this thing down and, and focus all of our energies into developing that, that high performance. I think another radical thing now when you look at it is even the naming of it of the 2.0. Right? We don't talk about PSI, we don't rate it in, in the way that other people rate, you know, basically falsely rate pressure washers at 2500, 2700. If you go on Amazon, you see all these electric pressure washers yeah, yeah, with 4, these ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous ratings. And I think that certainly wasn't true to our mission of what we were trying to do, you know, really to deliver the best possible performing product in the smallest possible package. It's interesting because I knew we were going to have this chat and the first ones that we were reviewing are not totally dissimilar to what the 2.0 looks like, but it said 1800. So right. we had originally thought this will be the, the active 1800. Still kind of in that. Yeah, in the legacy mindset of how product was rated. Yeah. And what was important to customers. 
So the brief of the 2.3 was really consumer driven because we knew we were getting a lot of mobile detailers and we were getting a lot of semi-professional users using the 2.0. And that was never intended public use case because, you know, from a manufacturing or production point of view, you typically have commercial grade units and you really have residential or DIY grade units. And, you know, admittedly, we straddle the line because of our, you know, usage hours and our positioning. But the 2.3 was really built in response. We looked at all the components, we looked at the motor, uh, had an opportunity to redesign parts of the product. And, and you know, that's how we got to the 2.3. The last part, part I'll mention about kind of this transition from V52 to 2.0 to 2.3 I want to emphasize the importance of all the feedback we've gotten, not only online through the comments, but through our after sales phone numbers and feedback online and kind of emails and so forth. A lot of people, you know, are contacting us about questions or complaints or challenges that they've had in the field with our product. And we're able to take all that feedback and really kind of re-engineer, kind of develop solutions and try to solve these issues. And I think over time, whether it was the V52, we had some questions around kind of the auto cutoff valve. To the 2.0, we were wondering why, in some cases with some types of hose, why it was cycling on and off. To like some of the noise challenges of the 2.3, we're trying to solve it as we go and be very transparent about these challenges so we can solve them together because we, we obviously, the intention is to make the best product possible. And so speaking on that point, you know, what is up next for Active from an evolution or design point of view for, call it the 2.0, 2.3? The 2.3 has some, some real possibilities. There's been a lot of, you know, a lot of people asking for the more stripped down, so possibilities of, of selling just tool only, so without the accessories or, or without the cage. It, it would need a handle, it would need right. something, so that's what's the next big, the big washer we want to go after. As with the V52, as with the 2.0, as with the 2.3, there continues to be a lot of behind the scenes refinement of these products, whether it's from a small component level to, as you said, like a, what's the bundle look like uh, to increasing and ongoing testing of returns. So we can identify any issues with the product. This goes on all the time and we know it contributes to incremental improvement with the product all the time. In terms of kind of what's next from a completely new form factor, we have a bunch of stuff kind of in the pipe under development uh, that we will absolutely be sharing with you guys as soon as we get closer to them ready to be revealed. But certainly we want to remain focused on kind of our core user. We want to remain focused on quality and performance. And we want to remain focused on resolving some of the issues that you guys have with our products today. Whether that's from a serviceability point of view, whether that's from a increased performance, whether it's a requirement around, oh, do you guys have a 20 amp unit or a more commercial grade unit um, or units too loud? I mean, we get lots of feedback and we take every bit of feedback very seriously. Your experience with active products, the 2.0, the 2.3, the V52, any of the accessories that you might have, all this goes towards making our product better and really feeds and directs our product development for the future. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this interesting, please share or subscribe to our channel. And again, thanks so much for your time and appreciate your support.